Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Showers and storms across North Alabama really getting more active here on the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. We've got rain rolling into Huntsville as we speak and locations like Gunnersville getting ready to see some of that steadier rain roll in here. Scattered thunderstorms though along and west of I-65. So let's get you a closer view of what's heading out of Lauderdale County moving into Limestone County. This little downpour here, there's not a lot of lightning with it, but you may hear a few rumbles of thunder. That's going to be just north of Athens here by 547. That's going to take about 11 miles to get there to the I-65 corridor. We've also got a stronger storm here off towards the southwest. This is riding right along the Colbert and Franklin County line. It's tracking eastward here pretty slowly between 10 and 15 miles per hour. It'll be along Highway 43 by 626. It's about 22 miles away there just north of Russellville, again in southern Colbert County as that is going to be tracking toward the east away from the state line. As far as the rain that's heading into Madison County, well it's in central Madison County right now. It's going to be heading up towards Meridian Mill and Newmarket here over the next few minutes. Moore's Mill 520, Newmarket by 532, Skyline 546, and then continuing that journey up into Tennessee. Some of the heavier rain, though, with that band of moisture rolling through is right along the Marshall and DeKalb County line. These pockets here of heavy rain approaching Geraldine in Crossville right now and just southeast of our Gunnersville radar site. Boaz getting in on some heavier rain as well. This is the view from our Gunnersville radar site. The rain off the distance there over the lake, 79 degrees and those temperatures will just continue to drop. Some spots that have already seen rain, like Decatur, we're at 75 degrees, 78 now in Huntsville, 79 in Florence, Scottsboro, we're still in the lower 80s. All of this to say that this evening, it's not the best weather for a cookout on the patio. Temperatures kind of up and down here, depending on who's seeing rain and when, but scattered showers and thunderstorms do stay with us through the evening hours. It's still just downright humid by eight o'clock tonight. Once we get into tonight, we start to lose a lot of the storm coverage. Of course, we're losing energy from the daytime heating and by tomorrow a few storms are back in the forecast but not quite the coverage of what we've seen today or the past few days that's going to lend itself to slightly hotter temperatures 88 degrees for your Wednesday afternoon future radar shows that as we go throughout the rest of this evening yes we still have that chance for storms initially but they become a little more sparse by 8 o'clock and past 8 o'clock all the way into tomorrow morning. We'll wake up to a pretty quiet start to the day, more cloud cover than sunshine. And as we get into the afternoon, here's 1.30. Notice that that chance for a storm is still there, but it's not quite what we have been seeing so far today. This is the view by 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. Your evening drive, a few of us dodging a few raindrops. 8.30, things start to quiet down. And by Thursday, that's when we do catch more of a break from the rain. An isolated shower or storm is possible, but for the most part, we're going to be staying drier and will be hotter with temperatures closer to 90 degrees Thursday afternoon. 88 for both tomorrow and for Thursday. And look at the rain chances, though, on the increase, unfortunately. Just in time for the weekend again, 50-50 shot at rain and storms on Saturday, 60% chance for Sunday. And we hold on to those decent rain chances and below average temperatures to start your next work week.